Oh boy, today's gonna be a sad video. As you can tell, we're not in the Miata. The Miata's actually been at the dealership for the past little bit, but we're on our way to go pick it up, and uh, I'll tell you more about what's going on, and let's get underway with this very emotional video. We're here at Destination Mazda, got the car back, and it's looking super shiny. Okay, I feel like I have a little bit of explain to you because last video we said we we're gonna give the Miata to Johnson and just keep the Miata as like, I guess like a Vancouver car to drive while I'm here, but change of plans. Super last minute, someone came through and wanted to buy the car and they're literally coming in from Revelstoke, which is seven hours away, to come buy the car tomorrow morning. I fly out tomorrow afternoon. So super tight, the guy was really into the car, really wanted it, so we're gonna make this deal happen. Super last minute, but I think it worked out really well because I had the car and I was able to drive it for like the last week I was back from LA. And uh, it's been great. The timing has been absolutely perfect. Hopefully they can get in in time. I think they're actually coming in tonight and then we're meeting up tomorrow morning to get the car and they're gonna head off and I'm gonna head off. So absolutely crazy timeline, but making a deal happen. I sold the car for way too little. This guy's getting a awesome deal, but um, I guess that just happens when you get desperate to sell a car because I'm moving off to Toronto and I don't really want to deal with this car. So yeah. Let me give you one last final look at the Miata before it goes off tomorrow morning and I start crying. So if you didn't know, this is my 2008 Mazda Miata power retractable hardtop version, fully loaded with the GT package, premium package, performance package. Absolutely insane. I freaking love this car. Probably, they're both definitely the favorite car I've owned. And it's just absolutely amazing. Highland green, tan interior. Absolutely amazing spec. It's got the premium package, so it's got the yeah. keyless entry access. Only Miata to have it, and also the only car of mine to have it. Very cool. Even the BMW, which is quote unquote a luxury car, didn't have it. And even the CRZ, which is quote unquote, or not quote unquote, like just a newer car, doesn't have it as well. Have an aftermarket head unit from the previous owner, just that Bluetooth. And that's about it. Car is completely stock, other than that. And it's just been an absolute hoot. So many great, fun memories with this car. Took it to the track, took it to the mountains so many freaking times. This car is just an absolute blast. I'm gonna miss it so much. But uh, I think my only problem with this car is that I don't really wanna modify it. The only problem with this chassis is just it's already so good of a car that I don't really feel like modifying it. If I modify it anymore, it's just gonna be like, maybe like the same amount is fun, but not worth the money to put into it to make it modified. So, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If I add stickier tires, the car's gonna be too underpowered because the car just doesn't have a lot of power. If I add more power, then I have to have like, big, thick, heavy wheels. That's just a headache. Not it. And uh, really not what the Miata's about. It's just such a perfect, fun, stock car. Absolutely amazing. And it's been super reliable. Never had any catastrophic failures. And it's been a very practical, practical-ish. You saw my last video, you saw me transport some tables and some boxes in this car. And it uh, handled it like a champ. Freaking love this car so much. I'm gonna do one final drive tonight to send off this car. My favorite car I've ever owned. Oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. They're just so gorgeous too, oh my gosh. Love it. I'm gonna miss it. Oh man, I don't think I can ever put into words just how freaking fun it is to drive this car. Freaking love it so much. I've said it once, I've said it again. This car is so freaking awesome, and there's not enough words in the dictionary to describe just how awesome it is. I freaking love this car so much. Just like putting it around town, just heating it, like just stoplight to stoplight, is so much freaking fun. You can't do that in a car with more horsepower, but this car, being so light and so underpowered, you just like rev it out all the way and you're still not even like breaking the law. It's absolutely insane. Just so much freaking fun. It's like driving a go-kart around the city. Freaking love it. But this car is also equally suited for like the highway. Being like the power track with hardtop, you put the hardtop up and it's literally a coupe. It's absolutely insane. There's like no wind noise and just rain just like runs right off it. No leaks and it goes up and down like fairly quickly. I freaking love the power trackable hardtop. And if you're buying a Miata, you definitely need to get the hardtop version. Soft top just ain't it anymore. Also, the NC is the only generation that has like the fully retractable hardtop. Because the NA and NB never got retractable hardtops, 
And then the ND is super whack. It's like a Targa. It's not really like a fully retractable hardtop. So in my books, that's not a pass. Not okay. But even with the top down on the highway, it's just such a freaking blast. All the wind in your hair, put the windows up and you're basically like in a little cocoon with like some wind blowing over you. It's so much freaking fun. Also, a uh, green key wagon. I don't know what else I can say about this car. I freaking love it so much and I'm gonna miss it so badly when it leaves. My heart is gonna have a little uh, Miata sized hole in it and uh, I need to find a replacement ASAP because this car has made me so warm and fuzzy inside. It makes me so happy. Also, if you're wondering where we're going, we're heading out to Deer Lake to go hang out with our friends one last time before your boy is off to Toronto. It's gonna be the last time seeing my friends for a very long time. Sort of sad, but I'm gonna make close of it. Yo, Deer Lake looks so pretty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so scenic. There's so many Vancouver places that I've never been before and I'm only finding out now. But uh, also, yeah, found a friend group. Here. Got some paddles. Oh, word. Canoes. I'm gonna bring my phone and my camera with me, and I have like 80% confidence I can keep it not submerged. Matt so. has no confidence. I can't wait for this vlog to be posted in 2027. So, um, yeah, if, if, if it does get flipped, then um, rip all this footage. you probably never see it. But if you're watching this footage, that means I hopefully uh, didn't get submerged. Yo, Philman, have you ever canoed before? Yeah, but I've never uh, oh, are they? hopped over, so. Yeah, pretty good. How there's a purse for everything. <laughs> for a fact that it'll be fine. Such grace. Such excellent. <laughs> awesome looks so graceful. Can't balance right, right. Thank you. Wow. Wait, Vic, Allison. We're all just vibing. I think uh, Jeremy's over there. There's no couplers in the canoe, so I'm just gonna hold like this. But uh, these paddle boaters can just hold it in their hands. Must be nice. Shout out Kenny for giving me a strawberry dream ale. This is so good. He also knows I like fruity beers. So thank you. I love you. What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? We're talking about JDC Drake! I don't have enough characters to define everyone. Okay, if we're talking about minor characters and how I met your mother, that would be Ron G. Hey guys. Bro, while we were connected to like the, the other paddle boats, I uh, turned around, but uh, now we're disconnected. And uh, I'm afraid to flip back around. But so I, got, I'm I got him, I'm a chauffeur. Jeez, yo, Phil and putting in work out here. Dude, you're so smooth, bro. Dude, you like the uh, what do you call those people in Venice with like the, oh, the gondolas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want me to stand up? No, dude, we're gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like giving me the middle finger over there. He wants to finger you. Jeez. <laughs> this is so romantic. I know, right? Dude, it looks like we're in the middle of like. Like a camping ground, and then the back when you see the city, right? Yeah. That's cool. Oh yeah, right. Little ducks. Step in the middle, my boy. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh. Ah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two o'clock. Oh, Sanders, yeah. yeah. Dude, it was so fucking busy. I didn't even get to like spend yeah. time with Sanders. Oh, yeah, like, spend time with Sanders. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Maggie just reminded us this is the last full hangout with the group. Yeah. I'm leaving. Oh. Yeah. Right now. Matt's gonna come to us. Facts. We'll, we'll hang out again another time. Right now. Let's go. Yeah, I didn't know. Never did. Never? Uh, on our way home after hanging out with the friends and wow, it just sort of felt like a normal friend hangout 
until the very end. And I think Victoria said like, this is the last time all the cool friend groups gonna be together. And wow, did it ever hit me in that very moment. Cause I'm off tomorrow and then I think people are fall coming out after that. And one by one, people in the friend group are leaving Vancouver and yeah, it's sad. It's um, I guess we're all growing up now. We're all going to our own separate places in the world. And we're all sort of splitting off. And it's, it's very sad. Top of the morning, it's September 3rd. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh, I, I fell asleep so fast last night. But damn, it's my last half day in Vancouver and we're heading off to go sell Miata. New buyers in town. I'm gonna go meet up with them. He's gonna do a quick test drive. And I think if everything goes all right, that's gonna be it. It's gonna take the Miata off my hands and it's gonna be the end of an era. End of my Miata ownership for the time being. And then we immediately fly out to Toronto. What a crazy sequence of events. Uh, the buyer messaged me like maybe a few days before, messaged me, then we did the inspection yesterday, and now he's buying the car right before I fly out. What, what crazy timing, but I'm, I'm so grateful that it worked out, or cross my fingers, it's hopefully gonna work out, but very sad. So, let's head out. Tell them yada. One last drive. It's a little chilly today, but last drive with the car. Oh my, so sad. I'm gonna miss this car so, so much. Uh. Another thing that I super duper love about this car is the red line, like in the gauge displayed, is around 6,800 RPM. But the actual rev limiter is closer to like 72, 7,300 RPM, which just gives it that little bit more extra. Like you, you go right past the red line and it still screams. It's absolutely insane. Oh boy. Crazy. Just that little extra something. Test drive went really well. Completing the paperwork now. Just gotta take off the plates. The last thing. Oh, so sad. This is the original license plate frame when the car was new in 2008. Oh, wow. Very crazy. And we're gonna give it to the new owner. Let's keep with the car. Wow. Cool. Cool. Just sold the car. Oh. <laughs> Did the transaction, everything really smoothly. They, they seem really happy about the car, so I'm, that makes me happy to see that someone else is going to enjoy the car as much as I did. And I think it's off to a good home. They're car people too, and uh, that makes me happy. We're at Lululemon, we're returning this pair of leggings, and uh, that feeling when everything reminds you of the car you just sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, my time in Vancouver has officially come to a close. Got all of our stuff packed up, ready to go. Thank you, Mandy. I've been moving stuff down. And uh, yeah, time in Vancouver is over. We are officially off to Toronto, got all of our bags, and we're gone. See you at the airport. Luggage secured, hopefully I have everything. Or er, I see the boy. Cheese! 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 Yo, I missed you, my boy! Yo, what's up? Yo! <laughs> You're... I'm so secret. <laughs> Bro, God bless this man for picking up at it's like four in the morning. Oh my my watch is inaccurate because I thank you for time, but uh <laughs> Ignore the stock wheels. <laughs> I know. It's okay! Bags? If anything, if anything, I can pull a seat. Yes. Like, Easy. Then... I, I think that one should go first. Yes. Yeah. Just shove everything like in. That's what, but it's like, what's fragile? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, oh okay. This, this was the one where they, they broke my PC. Ah, ah! <laughs> okay, let's find out. <laughs> Alright, can I dump the clutch? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can move my bags. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, I love this car so much. If I get banned in your neighborhood, I get banned in your neighborhood. <laughs> Worth. Okay, anyways, home time, finally home. Yo, I'm not sure if you can hear this boy in the distance. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, we're home. Yes, sir. Good to be back. Anyways, I'm gonna get the bags all inside. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Back in Toronto. Let's go. See you soon. Dude, I can still hear this guy. This guy's, dude, this guy's exhaust sound is sick, bro. Equal length headers is the way to go. Get out of here with this unequal stuff. My heart is gonna have a little, uh, Yana-sized hole in it.